Okay, we're going to have a go back in here today. This has been a very, very unproductive field. One coin, that were it. <laughs> but the sun's shining. I've got my gloves on, look, with my covers for my fingers. Whoa. Sheep think I'm going to feed them, which I'm not. And they look. That's our old friend, the llama. That's a funny looking sheep. <laughs> See you inside. Actually, it's warm, but if that sun goes in, it's going to freeze. It froze last well, night. Right inside the gate here. Normally, I leave this. It's full of absolute rubbish. I've just found a very nice little weight. Bronze. So we'll have a look at some more of this rubbish around here. Well, a nice buckle. I haven't done this particular little bit of the field and <laughs> it's a Christmas present. <laughs> oh, I'm going to call this Nightmare on Animal Tube Street. <laughs> get nothing but animal tubes. And then I get this and it's, it's a washer, I think. Oh, sun shining today, it's really nice. Now, I've stood within about 40 yards of where I found that um, Elizabeth first uh, threat me bit, hammered. Uh, <laughs> and then I come up with this, 1960 ship half penny. <laughs> I've walked quarter of a mile to get that, <laughs> and, and a couple of dozen animal tubes. And while I'm pointing that way, see on the, on the rise of that hill there, look, just there, that's where someone found 27 gold starters. The reason I'm here is uh, I found what I thought was a turret uh, for reins on a horse and I realised later on uh, looking at the um, my mate Jeff's site it could well be a sword hanger, a hanger for a sword so I thought whoa I'll go back in that field see if I can find out from William and no I didn't but I found a button <laughs> could be Cromwellian <laughs> uh, so yeah I'm searching very carefully see if there's any hammered in here oh, oh super little buckle yeah good one I'm just this little bit up higher that, on the hill than I've been before so it just shows you, if you haven't been, there's, there's stuff there waiting for you. <laughs> I thought I'd got a coin. I turned it over and I saw this stuff on the back. I thought, oh, it's a brooch. And I went back and I read 100 weight. <laughs> so it's off a bag, isn't it? 100 weight bag. <sighs> Nobody would wear that as a brooch. <laughs> Right, you've got to be careful for this. I got a high 90 signal, and then the other way I was getting, yeah, no good, it's no good. So I thought, I'll dig you anyway and have a look. And it is, it's bronze, it's heavy. It's part of a, a draw handle, I think. But with it only, with it being this curious shape, my detector was saying, it ain't worth digging up. So I'm going to be careful about that. Oh yeah, compulsory iron ring. <laughs> oh, sun's going down. I'm still in the shade and my ears are dropping off. <laughs> but I got a coin ball. <laughs> oh, that's easy. Oh, that's easy. And another buckle. Goodly. Hey. Well, it's three buckles today. That's doing well. I'm getting lots of high signals up in the 90s, high 90s. Most are iron, one was an iron ring, one was a very nice bronze buckle and this is an old padlock. <laughs> bronze. Hey, it's got a heart on it. Oh. So I'm digging I ignored these at one time, but I dig them up now. Let's see what they are. Now, you're interesting. 
I don't think you're a fork for eating. I think, uh, well, what do I think? You're obviously a fork for combing something. Oh, the sun has gone in now. It's getting cold. I'm trying to get it get out of the field but it keeps tempting me with little things like teapot spouts <laughs> oh dear I'm driving home and I think hey what's that windmill all of a sudden we got a giant windmill <laughs> in this view oh my goodness everything going to what's it in a handcart isn't it eh my goodness That is one big windmill. Well, look at that. I get home, I look through my landing window and all of a sudden I've got a windmill on me horizon. <laughs> Yorkshire Dales, my goodness. Oh, well, that's some other rich person who is uh, going to be feeding electric into the grid now at uh, six times the price it should be and I'm having to pay for it. Grump, grump, grump. <laughs> Hi, welcome to the Roundup. It's uh, Guy Fawkes Day today, on, uh, 5th of November, so if you can hear bangs and explosions in the background at all, it's because they're all letting fireworks off. <laughs> right, but I was out up on that hill in the brilliant sunshine. Oh, had a really good day. Uh, set off to try and find some hammered silver. Didn't, but had a brilliant day. Okay, let's go through junk. <laughs> um, copper, copper, copper. Electrical fittings, bits of copper. Nearest thing I got the silver. <laughs> An aluminium <laughs> rivet thing. Uh, electrical, electrical, bits of copper. Huge padlock that will go in the junk. What does that say? Oh, yes. Yeah, ah, oh, yeah, well known brand of padlock makers. Now, this. Oh, it's got a name on. Never saw that before. Uh, pro. I hate it when I come on these things like this. <laughs> right, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn it round so you can see every... That's pro... Progress... Progress... Something, 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 something. If you work me out, work it out, let me know. <laughs> okay, goodies. Now, that, that rings a bell. That, that's a comb for, for, for combing wool, I think. Uh, now, it's either come off a machine or it was carried around your neck and, you, and it was for a little personal use uh, on sheep, not on you. <laughs> Little spout off a kettle, copper kettle, just shows that they were, they were having their tea in that field. Oh, what is it? What is it? Torn handle? It's a big piece of brass, uh, cop, um, bronze, bronze I'd reckon. But uh, it gave a really weird signal because it wasn't in one piece and me detective was saying, well it's alright, but then again I don't think it is. <laughs> A button. Yes. This is somewhere I've been before, you know, so I did pretty well covering over, but no armor there. Plenty of, oh, animal tubes by the thousand. I got a <laughs> nightmare on animal tube field it was. Now, how about a nice little um, buckle? I've left this one on with it. It had an iron pin look. And the iron pin's absolutely gone. Just shows how old they are though. Normally I'd, I'd break that all off and just leave it like this. Um, with just, just the bronze. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's had a bit of a... Has it had a bit of a bang or was it made that way? I think it's had a bang. <laughs> One coin! Yay! Nineteen... Sixty! Elizabeth II! <laughs> Unbelievable! <laughs> uh, it were pretty barren on coins in that field. <laughs> now this is interesting. One hundred weight tag for a sack. And that's not muck underneath, that's the actual sack. Look. Yeah, the cloth. Look. Hemp. Yeah, I'm sure that's hemp. And tied together with a bit of wire. And the proper weight was this one. Uh, let's see if I can get in there properly. I think those are um, upside down is what I think they are. Let's turn them this way up and see what we get. We've got a 10, we've got a Y, we've got an X. I think that was um, the government hallmarks for these weights and this was slightly under um, half an ounce I mean it's worn down with time I was wondering what those marks were for um, it doesn't actually say anything does it or does it mm. I think just I think they're just there to stop you wearing the bottom away and making this weight weigh less than it should. <laughs> oh, nice though. Nice patina. Anybody make that out? Yes, please. So there you go. We had a bit of fun. <laughs> and then I'm coming all over the hill and I look and I think, where did that windmill come from? I've got houses going to obscure my view, and now I've got windscreens on the uh, windmills on the horizon. Oh my goodness, doing my head in. <laughs> oh, before you know what, we're going to be living in a ghetto. <laughs> you take care. Good luck. Happy hunting. Look, it's out there. You just got to go get it. But where the silver's hiding at the moment, I just don't know. <laughs> Take care.